from Butte, super fun to watch dogs are hailing a decision from Atlantic Richfield as a major step in the right direction towards the proper cleanup of the mining city. This week, Atlantic Richfield announced they would not be using on-site contaminated soil as backfill for the ongoing cleanup which is expected to kick into high gear next spring. The possibility of reusing dirt that exceeded metal containment levels in the consent decree had been hailed as an easier, efficient, and safer way to clean up some areas of Butte before the recent backtrack. Local Superfund watchdogs have been expressing concerns about the potential reuse of contaminated soil for years now and say this shows that project leaders are listening to the concerns of the community. It was the right thing to do, and it involved a whole lot of people, not just Evan and I, being involved and discussing this and bringing it up, writing letters to the editor, doing whatever we could to make sure people were aware that we were not getting the cleanup we deserved. This is a big, big step for doing the right thing in Butte, but it, the fight isn't over yet. There's still other things that have to be watched as we go forward. Barrett and Ringsack say they want to ensure the process is transparent and prioritizes the health of the public.